is love? I don't know. I often ask myself this question. When a man loves a woman, I think you're happy when you're together. And you feel at ease when you're with a person that you love. When you're not with this person, you long for that person. And you think of that person. And when you love this person very, very much, maybe you want to marry that person. And before you marry this person, you might have to, as a man, go to a jewelry store to purchase a diamond engagement ring. And you do something romantic, plan for it, you, you meet with your loved one, you, need, you kneel down on one knee, and you open up this box, and you pop up a question. And hopefully, the answer is yes. <laughs> And fellow Toastmasters and most welcomed guests, may I have a show of hands of anyone here who is in love or who has been in love, please. <laughs> I see a lot of people here. And thank you for putting your hands up because what I will be talking about might benefit you and might be of interest to you. I'm going to talk about how to purchase a diamond engagement ring. <laughs> so before you buy a diamond ring, you might have to do some research. You should learn about what are diamonds. And you have to research on where to buy these diamond rings. So let me start with um, what are diamonds. And I have something here just to uh, pass around for everyone to take a look. So before you, uh, before you buy a diamond, you have to learn about the four C's of a diamond. And what are the four C's? It's carrot, clarity, color, and cut. So let's start with carrot. What's a carrot? A carrot is the weight of a diamond. It's very simple. The bigger the carrot, the bigger the diamond. And the second C is clarity. So most diamonds, when you put it under a microscope, you will notice that there are a lot of inclusions. They're like H spots for diamonds. So a flawless diamond is really rare, and it's very expensive. Most diamonds have very, very small inclusions, very small inclusions, and some inclusions. Those with some inclusions are not, very, not as expensive. The third C is color. Now, did you know that most organic diamonds coming from nature are not white and colorless? They're actually yellow. And sometimes when jewelry stores, they try to sell these yellow diamonds, they call them champagne color, so you will buy them. So a diamond that's not yellow, that's white, and perhaps even colorless, will be more expensive. Now, most importantly, when you buy a diamond, it's the fourth C. It's the cut. Diamonds come in different shapes nowadays. Some are uniquely shaped, like an emerald, pear shape, or heart. Some diamonds are princess cut and are square. But the most common, and the one cut that's perfected, is actually the uh, round shaped brilliant cut diamond. That's in symmetry, that is round, so when the light hits the surfaces, they go inside, they come out nicely, glitter, sparkle, shine, and brilliant. So when a diamond really shines, you're in a restaurant, it looks big. <laughs> and with the human eye, you actually can't really tell if it's clear or not, because you're not, you don't have a microscope. And who cares about the color when it's shiny? <laughs> it's sparkly, it's bright, it wows you, and it's good. So the cut is really important when you buy a diamond. But did you know that diamonds are actually not very rare. Uh, in fact, over a hundred years ago, it is not a tradition anywhere in the world to buy a diamond engagement ring to propose to the person that you love for marriage. And not in Europe, not in the Americas, and not in the Far East. In fact, it was a diamond cartel called the Beers that limited the supply of diamonds 
to create demand and sell them for a higher price. And in the early 1900s, De Beers hired a very, very good public relations and marketing firm. I forgot the name, but they coined this phrase that a diamond is forever. So that when you love this person, you buy a diamond that's forever to show your love, and you pay a very high price for it. So where do you buy these diamonds? You can actually buy them from uh, diamond brokers across the town, and you can also buy them from um, jewelry stores, and Tiffany's and Cartier are exemplary of these uh, diamond boutiques, and, and uh, one good thing about them is actually Cartier and Tiffany's offers you a uh, interest-free payment plan. <laughs> <laughs> and on average, a diamond ring might cost $15,000 or more, that's a carrot, at uh, these stores. But why would you buy a diamond ring when a diamond is actually not rare and forever? Well, you buy a diamond ring because the process of buying a diamond ring really shows how much you care about the other person. You know, the time you spend on researching, on learning about the four C's, and the amount of money, thousands of dollars, or even tens of thousands of dollars, that you're willing to spend on a stone that's essentially have very poor resale value and not really that high in demand. That truly shows your love for that person. And it is that love for the person that you love. And when you buy this diamond ring, that's what's forever. So a diamond is not forever, but buying a diamond ring for your loved one, this whole process is what's going to create this long-lasting love that could be forever. And hopefully you buy the most expensive diamond ring when that moment comes. Thank you very much. <laughs>